Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah died early today and his brother Salman became king. King Salman has named his half-brother Mukrin as his crown prince and heir. His Highness Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud and all members of the family and the nation mourn the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz. Our guest in our program is David Hartwell, director and managing editor of Middle East Insider, independent political risk and international security consultant. David, welcome to our program. Thank you very much. What were his main achievements during his rule? I think what uh, Abdullah will be mainly remembered for, I think, is uh, cautiously advancing the reform program within Saudi Arabia. Clearly, that hasn't gone fast enough for some Western nations, but he has you know, granted mm -hmm. um, additional rights to women who can now vote, and he's also mm -hmm. pursued a, a, a pragmatic foreign policy that has not always been in tune with that of the United States, for example, but he, mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia has continued to act as a stabilizing influence within the region mm -hmm. um, and plays a key role in, in counterbalancing Iran and also stabilizing countries such as Egypt and Lebanon. So to those, I think, will be his major achievements. Mm -hmm. Well, oil prices surged and then fell mm -hmm. at the New York market following late King Abdullah's death. What is the impact of that? I, I think there was always going to be some reaction from the markets, you know, uh, on Abdullah's death, simply mm -hmm. because of who he was, you know, leader of the, of the world's largest oil-producing nation. Uh, and mm -hmm. so, therefore, the markets are, you know, sensitive to those sort of uh, geopolitical events. Um, however, they sort of seem to settle down now. Uh, you know, that there's, you know, that once the uh, sort of impact, if the initial impact of Abdullah's death has, has passed, um, mm -hmm. then I think there mm -hmm. is very much the, the kingdom is giving out a very uh, strong message that, you know, stability is the key and continuity. I don't think much can be anticipated in terms of policy changes, especially in the oil markets. Um, mm -hmm. And I think Salman, who has been evidently involved in all of the key decisions uh, of the kingdom for the past year, if not before that, um, is clearly going to continue or seems to be continuing the policies of our King Abdullah. So, so once that initial fluctuation was was has passed, if you like, and I think really the message is that you know continuity is, is the key is is the key watchword here. Do you see the newly appointed King Salman continue the policies of his predecessors? Absolutely, I don't think there's any reason to to suggest mm. at this moment that that um, that he will he will change. Certainly, the, the foreign policy, certainly the policy on on oil, looks certain to to, to be maintained. Um, and as I say, he mm. he was involved mm. in all the major um, political decisions for at least the past year. So he's intimately involved in current policy. Uh, there's no reason to suggest at the moment that that, that there are going to be any uh, major deviations from that. Uh, and indeed, you know, major policy deviations and, you know, major shocks to the policy system are very, very not in keeping with the Saudi system, if you like, which is very, very innately conservative and doesn't really mm. respond well and doesn't really deal well with, with um, shocks to the system. So really, it's all about continuity and stability. Do you think there are uh, challenges? I think there are. I think, you know, mm. the key problems going forward, I think, are in how, and these are the problems that Abdullah faced as well, mm -hmm. which were, you know, how does Saudi Arabia embrace globalization, uh, an increasingly modern world interconnected through social media and through the internet, and all of these different issues that mm -hmm. the, the, the kingdom cannot uh, ignore because of its tradition of, of strict adherence to Wahhabism. It is it, you know, mm -hmm. making, you know, marrying up the, the strict conservatism, religious conservatism with you know, the, the challenges that the modern world keeps throwing at Saudi Arabia, that's the key challenge and always has been, and how they um, keep their population happy, the young population, particularly the educated population, how they can continue to, you know, satisfy them, whilst at the same time, you know, denying them a major say in the political running of the country. Those are the major challenges going forward. David Hartwell, Director and Managing Editor of Middle East Insider, Independent Political Risk and International Security Consultant, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much indeed.